Senator, in the same finding, it also said that I think 37 percent said they didn't want to take a job because it wasn't paying enough. We didn't tie that to the benefits for some reason. I, I, that immediately said to me, even though a lot of employers are offering higher wages to try to induce people to come back, there's still 37 percent saying that it's not high enough for me to come back, which just confirms what I guess we were trying to say wasn't being confirmed. That's the way I read it. I mean, if 37 percent say it's not enough money and we're up in the 15 to 20 dollar range, higher than it's been, then people can stay at home and make more money at home. Well, Joe, that's apparently what's what's happening. I mean, there are 8.1 million jobs open right now, which is historic. We've never had that many jobs open in the United States of America. And we do have a situation where a lot of people who are on unemployment insurance can make more there than they can at work. Roughly 42 percent of people are making more on average on unemployment insurance than they were at their jobs. And that doesn't include the tax break that the Democrats put in this COVID bill, which is that the first $10,000 is tax free. So if you're a truck driver making 35 grand a year and uh, you're working hard, you don't get that tax break. But if you're on unemployment insurance, you do. So that that seems kind of unfair. So it, look, it's 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 obvious. I mean, if you're out in the real world, there are help wanted signs everywhere. People are paying big bonuses uh, driving into the airport yesterday morning. Uh, I go by Frisch's Big Boy. They're offering 250 bucks. McDonald's is offering a $500 signing bonus. Uh, a buddy of mine who's a manufacturer, she's offering a thousand. She can't get anybody. She's got 60 positions open in Ohio. By the way, 30 positions open in New York. And she's going to fill those ones in Ohio first if Ohio gets rid of the $300 additional federal supplement because she could hire people in Ohio. So it's going to be a competitive advantage for those states that are stepping forward. And by the way, about 15 states have already stepped forward and said, you know, we're going to have to end this $300 additional federal supplement, which, as you know, is extraordinary. We haven't done that before. Um, we did it in the last Great Recession, but we did it to the tune of about 25 bucks a week, not right. 600 and 300 bucks a week. So, Senator, it's a, I, I, I mean, mean, look, it's it's important to get people back to work. Yeah. I mean, if you don't want to blame that government program for why people are staying home, you can at least blame not having the schools the yeah, reopening quick enough because that that is a problem because people don't have uh, don't have a way a to go. Yeah, that's a, that that's is, a problem. But that's that is, also government. That is one of the issues, up, probably to some extent. Well, there, there are people who are saying, I'm sure in the survey, and, and by the way, this tilts toward women more, and you look at the numbers in terms of women who are out of the workplace first versus men, it's, it's a higher proportion, and, and they will say, you know, I, I can't afford child care, and that's an issue. And a lot of that's driven by the fact that their kids are not in school. Only 54% of schools, K-12, through have been open full-time. So this is, this is an issue, too, and that will be resolved, I hope, very soon, because, you know, the COVID issue is, thank God, finally getting behind us, and this is an opportunity for us to get back to school, back to work, you know, back to a more normal life. Yeah. Um, and, and then just safety concerns, obviously, when you're coming out of a pandemic like that, that's going to cause some people maybe not to want to uh, go back and work or go, go back to a, a physical place to work, uh, I guess. So that that's all part of it. What, do you think well, there's, there's some of that, too? But but this but this three hundred dollars continues until Labor Day and it continues into September. And, you know, look, the, the economy is 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 red hot. The Jobs are out there, obviously. Uh, people are desperate for workers. And there are companies in Ohio that are actually shutting down. And those jobs are being lost because they don't have any workers. So it's, it's uh, in the real world, <laughs> this is a big problem. Right. You were always a very uh, measured uh, Republican and, and conservative. Do you have any answers if, or advice for the GOP in terms of the, the schism, and I'm not saying there's no schisms on, on the left either. Uh, obviously, with some of the things proposed by the far left, just watching it play out this week has been mind-boggling, or in the last week has been mind-boggling. But the Republicans don't seem to know who they are uh, right now, whether they're deplorables, whether they're uh, classic conservatives. Is it a big tent? You need everybody? Yeah, it's, it's got to be a big tent. You know, politics is about addition, not subtraction, and it's about adding more people. But, Joe, I think the Republican Party actually, you know, is doing pretty well right now because of President Biden and the progressive Democrats who are taking the country to the left. And that lurch to the left is not where most people are. And you look at the incredibly high spending rates and the incredibly high taxes that are being proposed, and, and you look at some of the issues that they're talking about, like statehood for Puerto Rico and D.C. and packing the Supreme Court, I mean, you know, these are issues that folks don't don't 
support. So it, it gives the Republican Party the ability to kind of reframe our, our policy agenda, which is ultimately what makes okay. a party strong. So our ideals and our policies is what ought to lead. Senator, thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Good to see you. And uh, Frisch's. I haven't hey, heard Frisch's. We, 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 we got the, we got the, the raging inflation. We've got the UFOs. And now we've got the cicadas. This is my first cicada. Oh, Just my God. This morning on the Capitol ground. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Senator. I'm going to let him right. go. Thank you. There he goes. Squawk box. Squawk box. We'll be right back.